A plugged or slow running drain is the bane of every homeowner or apartment dweller. Today I'm going to show you six different methods from the most benign to the most radical on how to unclog your drain. One of these methods hijacked my video. Let me show you which one and let's get after it. We begin by using boiling water, then move to baking soda and vinegar. Remember your high school science class. We'll try this method both with the drain plug open and the drain plug removed totally. We graduate to our trusty friend the plunger and then move up to this device I found in the big box store called the drain weasel. It's nothing more than a plastic auger. The more caustic method involves this drain cleaner. Lastly, the more dramatic method involves disassembly of the PVC pipes underneath the sink. Let's start by bringing some water to a boil and donning our gloves and eye protection. We carefully transfer the water to the clogged bathroom sink and pour. Once all the water seeps away, we turn on the faucet to check the progress. And... Nothing. So let's try it again and give it another chance. and nothing. So it's on to the next method. We break out our baking soda and cover the drain with it as best we can. Take the vinegar and pour onto the baking soda to create a bubbling chemical reaction that it is said should clear a slow running drain. But alas, it does not. So let's try round two. On the outside chance that we're not getting enough baking soda down the drain, let's remove this plug. Underneath the sink, compress this clevis spring and remove the rod from the clevis strap, remembering which hole the rod fits into before removal. And then remove the rod, ball, and collar by unscrewing the collar counterclockwise and note here how the short end of the rod goes in first, then the ball, then the collar. Remove the drain plug, taking note of the orientation at the bottom. And then replace the rod, ball, and collar to prevent leakage during these next steps. This time we're going to pour baking soda directly down the drain. and flush it with vinegar. I think this actually made it worse. So it's onto our trusty plunger. And don't even think I've been using this on my commode. This one is brand new. The best surface for a plunger is flat like this drain in my shower. But we don't have that luxury in a bathroom sink, so we need to make as snug a fit as possible. If your sink has an overflow hole in it, or holes like this, 
plug them with a rag or paper towel soaked in water before plunging. Fill your sink about halfway with water and open the drain plug. Cover the plug with your plunger and give it a few snug pumps. Now be prepared for flying water by having towels available. Be aware that overly aggressive plunging can push the PVC connections apart if there is a total blockage. Again, this did not fix our issue. So it's on to the drain weasel. I purchased and brought this home with no expectations. The instruction says it comes with two replaceable disposable shafts and tips. We remove the handle first. Then the two plastic auger shafts. Here you see the tips which are rather fuzzy and feel a bit like Velcro. The instructions state that we should pick up the handle and retract the yellow sleeve. I discovered that although the sleeve initially feels like it's been retracted all the way, you should double check this and make sure. Then attach the end of one of the shafts by lining it up against the matching keyed area of the orange handle. Then pull down the sleeve over the connection till it clicks. Begin to insert the tip of the auger into the drain. Hold the yellow sleeve and begin to turn the handle. If you feel resistance, continue to turn and retract the auger. Oh my, I think we found the source of our blockage. But you can repeat this step as necessary, cleaning off the end of the tip each time. I wanted to repeat the same test on the adjacent matching sink without removing the drain plug. Water in this sink had also been draining slowly. But what I found was this device doesn't work nearly as well with the drain plug installed. Anything captured on the auger tip could possibly be dragged off by the drain plug as we retract the auger shaft. The purpose of this tool would be to remove the blockage, not loosen it. So removal of the drain plug would be warranted. So we remove the drain plug and try again. The fact that I felt no resistance on my way down makes me wonder if I loosened the blockage earlier and just pushed it down further during this attempt. Regardless, the water flows fine now and I consider this method successful. This device pretty much hijacked my video in that I was planning to show the success or failure of methods 5 and 6. The only note I would add here is if you made it this far and still have a clogged drain, be careful with caustic drain cleaners. Do not pour cleaners like this down your drain, then decide to use the plunger if the cleaner doesn't work. If the reason for this is not obvious, let me spell it out. The splashback from the cleaner while using the plunger could damage your eyes or skin or at a minimum your countertop or surrounding paint or floor materials. Be careful and follow the directions. I had fully planned for failure of the first five methods in anticipation of having to perform this step. Since my plans were thwarted, I will show you what method six would have shown. Underneath your sink, as under mine, you will probably see three or more drain pipe connections. They may be on pipes of metal or PVC. To fully clean this drain, all the connections should be loosened and removed. Take photos with your phone if that helps you in the reassembly. Now I would have started with this connection and loosened it, turning it counterclockwise. Then moved to this connector and loosened it and the same with this connector. At the base of the sink, I would have loosened this connection, then dropped down and removed all the PVC pipe and cleaned it, including the connection where the pipe goes through the wall. As it is, our project is complete, save for reassembly of the drain plug. Before we reinstall the drain plug, we first remove the collar, rod, and ball from the drain under the sink. 
If your plug looks like mine, take note of the protrusion here and point it toward the rear of the sink. Pick up and insert the plug into the drain, keeping the orientation as mentioned earlier. Then insert the rod, ball, and collar back into the drain, passing the rod through the hole in the tip of the drain plug. Tighten the collar and move the drain plug linkage up and down to ensure it works properly. Finish by slipping one end of the clevis spring over the rod, then insert the rod into the proper clevis strap opening and press on the clevis spring onto the back side of the clevis strap. It's time to revel in your success and check for leaks. If leaks are present, make sure your connections are tight and or use Teflon tape.